Hello, my name is Brandon Enright, and this is the fourth video in a series on how to solve the star minx. So, in this video, I'm going to cover how to solve the points of a star minx. That is, these triangle pieces here in the center. Now, in the first video, it was just an introduction. In the second video, I covered how to solve edges via a simple commutator sequence, a simple 1-1 one, one commutator sequence. And then in the third video, I covered how to solve the centers with a simple 4-1 sequence, so 10 moves. And I actually showed how to do it in 3-1, but that's a little bit complicated So for a tutorial like this, so we'll just stick to that. Um, but now we need to solve these points, and these points are going to ultimately be difficult to isolate. And, and if, if you recall, in order to make a, a, a commutator, you need to be able to isolate uh, a particular piece. So it worked just fine for the edges because we weren't worried about breaking the centers or the points. Um, but once all the edges were solved, we could no longer do that for like, things like the centers. We had to rely on we had to rely on isolating the centers in such a way that we wouldn't break any edges. And, but we ended up breaking the points. Now we're going to need to isolate the points without breaking either the centers or the edges because. I'm assuming that you've already solved all of the edges and you've already solved all the centers and now on your puzzle all of your star mix points are broken. So because your centers and edges are already solved we need to come up with a cycle that does not break the centers and edges so it really just affects just the points because that, that's the only piece left on this puzzle. Now I, I th when I first tried ha to solve a star minx, I thought that these points were, were very difficult to figure out. And indeed, I think that most good solvers, when they first tackle the star minx, they, unless they already have a ton of familiarity with a whole bunch of other puzzles, the, the star minx points are going to give them a, a little bit of trouble. Because, you know, that was good enough to isolate an edge, but it wasn't good enough to isolate a center. But that was good enough to isolate a center. But it's definitely not good enough to isolate an edge, or uh, excuse me, it's not definitely not good enough to isolate a, a point. So, you know, that looks like it isolated that point, right? That's a slice move. But what's going on with this point over here? Where did that come from? Well, let's look at it. So we're moving that point, and we end up breaking that point and that point too. So we didn't definitely did not isolate a single point there. So if we do that, and then we undo our x, and we undo our y we ended up with a 7 cycle, and a 7 cycle is not at all going to be useful to us. Um, ultimately we need to find a 3 cycle, and the only way we're going to be able to find a 3 cycle is to isolate a point. So I'm not going to go into sort of the, the theory or, or principle be fi behind finding these sequences. Um, there's, you know, there's certain possibilities that you can try, and there are certain possibilities like, you know, that is never ever, two moves like that is just never ever going to isolate anything for you on any puzzle. Um, so uh, there are certain things that we just don't need to try. I'm not really going to cover all of that in, in any great depth. Um, I'm just going to I'm just going to show you some sort of you know let's try this random thing and see what happens type of type of, of solving to see if we can create a commutator out of it. So you know we're we're, we're looking to isolate uh, a point in well it would be nice if we could do it in in a slice move or or a face move, um, but ultimately like a face move it moves so many points it's it's sort of hard to imagine us isolating in a face move, al although it is entirely possible. So let's do our 1-1, our one, one. and we didn't really, we didn't isolate any points here, and we can't turn that point because it breaks another point in that center. Um, and you know, that one's not going to help us, um, and you know, we can't really do that slice because it breaks that. Um, so what happens if we, you know, continue as though we were doing our center Okay, so now we cycled centers. Now do we isolate a point? And indeed, we did. There's a point right there, and there's a slice move, and that point does not affect any other point on this puzzle. So I guess we sort of lucked out there. So let's let's so let's give this a let's do the, our, our our center three cycle. Okay. This is the, the four one version of it, excuse me. I um, have to undo x there. This is the 4 1 version, so it's 10 moves. And then we have a point right there, and it's isolated. Okay, now we have to undo. So, so that 10 moves, that was our x part. And then we're going to do that right there. 
And now we need to un so that's our y part. Our y part is one move. And now we need to undo our x part. And so that means when you do undo your x part, see, so you, you have to do it the inverse of it. So we're going to do the inverse of it. Trust me, that was the inverse. And now we have a three cycle for these points. But if you were counting, we did 10 moves, and then we did one move, so that's 11. And then we undid the first 10, so that's 21. And then we undid our, our last, our Y part. So we this cycle, even though it's nice and pretty easy to understand, costs us 22 moves. So I don't know about you, but I sure as heck don't want to solve this puzzle where each cycle takes 22 moves. Um, we need to hold ourselves to a higher standard, and we need to find a, a cycle that um, is sort of more manageable. So let's try something else. So we already tried this, and we know that didn't work um, because you know all, all of this stuff gets in the way, right? So. Um, you know, okay, if we do that, then, then that thing no longer gets in the way. So let's try, like, you know, let's try a setup move where we do, and then, okay, so we've done four moves, and then, okay, well, you know, that's, you know, this, is puzzle, this point is no longer in the way, but, you know, we've got all this mess down here that we end up breaking. So I don't think that's really going to work out either. So what if we try something like two, you know, two? Okay, so do we isolate any points now? So um, there's that, and if you look over here on this, this right-hand side, you can see that it moves all sorts of stuff. Um, so if, yeah, well here. So you see it, it just breaks all sorts of stuff. So that's not going to help us. And that's not going to help us. That breaks a whole bunch of stuff. But what about what about that? As you can see, that affects just a single point. And in fact, we have quite a few options available to us. That one just affects a single point. And that one just affects a single point. So let's let's reinitialize the puzzle. So we're going to do this this one one. Now we have that available. So let's do that and let's undo our one one. So, well, let's undo our Y. Now we have a three cycle, the white, red, brown three cycle, and it was only 10 moves. So 10 moves is way better than 22. So if I were you, I'd, I'd definitely pick a 10 move sequence. And the cool thing is, is we have a lot of variety here. So solving these star mix points can involve a lot of setup moves. And so Sometimes variety is going to be helpful. So you don't really have a choice here. This is going to affect, well, it's going to affect the, the white and the orange piece, but we get to pick what other color it affects. So let's say we want it to affect the blue, white, orange piece. There we go. So there's the white, orange, blue piece but you know we can so we're going to do the same thing we're going to fat the white orange but now we're going to do the purple and there we go so there's the, the the purple white orange cycle now that's great only 10 moves and you could solve that this puzzle with the to, you know the four move edge three cycle and you could solve the puzzle with the the ten move um, center three cycle or you know the, you could do the the eight move version of it where you isolate that way and you undo the oops we did that wrong and so you can do that so the the eight move three cycle and then you could use the ten move three cycle for the star mix points so I'm not going to finish it here but there's actually a shorter one. So the same principle applies when we did this and we isolated a center. And this did not matter. So for, for the centers, when this piece did not matter, it turns out that when we're doing, when we're doing that, 
we that's not available to us because we would have to do that. So here's the three moves. So this this is necessary if we want to isolate that one right there. But it turns out that this is not at all necessary if we want to isolate this one right here. This no matter what we do, this slice is not going to be affected. So let's start that over. Two there, two down, two back. That's a conjugate sequence. Now do the blue up, and we'll do two down, two up, two over, and then blue down. Now we have a three cycle, and it was only eight moves. If we did three moves, that's three moves right there. And then we did the one move, and then we undid the three, then we undid the one. And so we have a 3-1 Starmix point 3 cycle, and it has a lot of variety, so we can do the yellow there instead. A lot of variety, and it's only 8 moves. So that is a pretty efficient way to solve this puzzle. Now, that's not the only way you can isolate pieces. Um, you can do like two moves down and then I think like one move and then two moves. There's no reason why you can't do that. Um, so then there's a green piece in here, you know, and then you can do one move down or two moves down, one move up, two moves over, and then like that. And you have a different pattern for the, the, the triangle th three cycle, the, the point three cycle. Um, so using that principle, uh, you can have a relatively short point three cycle on this puzzle, or a lot of different variety, um, and you can use it to solve all of the points on this puzzle. Now, again, as with the centers, um, it, even though the variety is available to you, unless you're going for a, a fewest moves record, um, which on this puzzle, trust me, is incredibly difficult to get. Uh, Elwin and, and Daniel have done an amazing job of, of sort of locking out everyone else the, with very few moves. Um, so if, unless you're going for a few moves to recycle it, if you just want to get this puzzle solved, I, I would just recommend memorizing one recycle, just like, a, just like with the centers. Just memorize one of these. Oh, I, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, just memorize one and go, okay, well that one affects the white, green, dark green, you know, and then you can go and apply that somewhere else. So, you know, you can go and affect the, so let's memorize that again, white, green, dark green. Okay, so now let's go look at this. So, okay, so now we're going to affect the, the, the blue, orange, dark blue. So, and then we move the, the blue up. Blue down, okay, and then so the orange, the blue, and the, or the dark blue and the, and the blue. So um, we just sort of memorized what gets affected, and then we can sort of reorient the puzzle, or we can do a setup move to, a, to a cycle something else. And just memorize one of the, the simple um, three cycles until you're very comfortable with using commutators and um, understanding how they work and the variety available to you. Until you're familiar with that, just sort of memorize one um, and use that. And of course, you know, as with all the commutators, if you do the Y part first, then you do the X part, then you undo the Y part, you will undo it, you, you will cycle the pieces in the, the opposite direction. And so, hopefully, with the edge three cycle that I showed you, and then the center three cycle that I showed you, and then the star mix point three cycle that I showed you, you can go ahead and solve the star minx. Um, it's still not going to be an easy puzzle, but you now have all the tools you need to actually go and do it. So good luck.